Uh, I'm back, chat. Hmm. Lotus sketchings. Thank you for the gifted subby. Sense of humor. Hmm. Bro, that Ypsilon guy looked so cool. Yeah. All right. Where were we? Playing Genshin Impact. That's right, ladies and germs. Gift subs, you degenerates. Yeah, if we get 100 subs starting now, so if we get to 176, uh, I will show you guys that sketch, which is pretty damn cool. I'm going to be honest. So, all right, chat. Do we want to start the dual summoner summit? Go near the... Okay, and this is all... Yes. Bet. Ah, uh, there's our boy. Where... Before we do that, where did we go wrong? So, okay. Instead of, so this is if we tell him alternate paths, we can actually change it here. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. Genshin burnout? <laughs> what are you talking about? What sketch? So, I have a print that is being worked on that I'm not going to release until uh, 3.8. So, what do you mean wrong? What are you talking about? Hey, Rooney Acro, or Rooney Caro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Respectfully, hey, well, I'm glad, hello. I'm glad, Starlight. What's in 3.8? 3.8? Well, the thing is, is that this has nothing to do with what happens in 3.8. This is just something I've wanted to do uh, towards the end of the Sumeru. Of the, the Sumeru, um, uh, the, the Sumeru run, where, it, like, it shifts focus to a new region. That's what I wanted. I've actually talked about it on, uh, uh, on Twitter before. Um, hey, thank you for the gifted sub. But, uh, I do have a sketch of it, and, uh, <laughs> I do want to, uh, I don't want Sumeru to go. Me neither. But, you know, all good things come to an end. And I'm sure Fontaine will be great. But never forget that Sumeru was better. Until they, you know, show us the underwater stuff. Then everyone will be like, Fontaine the best region! <laughs> but like, I mean, everybody has a different favorite, right? And, and I'm gonna tell you right now, for me, it is Sumeru. And that's not even a bias. I liked Sumeru from the get. Um, but I really do good think show. Jolly, um, good show. I really do think that Natlin might be my favorite uh, after this. I'm so curious about what Natlin. Huh. Thank God I have this sped up hot key. So much easier on PC. Everything seems really well connected and written, written cohesively in Sumeru. Yeah, I hope the writing stays the same or is better in Fontaine. That's what I personally want. I got Tainario when Zach texted earlier. It was a sign. It was a sign. But yeah. All right, chat. But yeah, if you guys want to see, if you guys want to see the, the, the sketch of the print, we got to get to 175 today. 
It reminds me of Wonderland with the giant mushrooms. <laughs> Fair. Oh, I just realized. Sumeru is the best cast to me. I mean, that's fair. The thing is, I feel like... Let's go gather some sample. I feel like no matter what region you're in, there's a solid... There's a solid uh, group for everybody. You know what I mean? It's like how I feel about the turtles. I feel like the turtles have an iteration for everybody. Right? Um... Uh... I feel like there's a region for everybody in, uh... Hey, Luca with the 10 gifted. I feel like there's a region for everybody who plays Genshin. You know? Astral Express, the best region? <laughs> That's when Genshin fans will learn. What a disaster. I didn't even make it through the qualifiers. How'd you do? Oh, this is like an actual event event. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I didn't do any better. I was beaten by that little Timmy kid. <laughs> you lost to Timmy? What an idiot! I've only ever seen him out there feeding pigeons. No clue how he got to be such a good card player. He was playing against the pigeons. That's what he was doing. The next round's starting soon, right? Let's head over and watch. That is the alley. Pigeons. I'm curious to see who will win the grand prize. It's Sino. We all know it's Sino. But lost to Timmy couldn't be fucking me. Sounds like they were talking about a card competition. They must be talking about Genius Invitation TCG. Do you think there'll be any tasty food at the venue? Should be. But let's go ask Diona for details. Let's go, Diona! Man. Commence! A suspect genesis! Bam, ba -dum, bam, bam, bam. Hey, Sepultra. Thank you for the subby. Damn, that went by quick. You've helped me get through so many workouts already. Thank you. Hey, I'm glad. It's so funny because I just started going back to the gym myself. Um, mainly doing weights so then I can uh, get a little bit of muscle definition. You know, uh, trying to get uh, work on my shoulders and my chest. As well as my biceps and triceps more than anything. But um, because I, I've been eating a lot better. Um, but um, And I've lost a lot of weight, but I just want to like, you know, build upon that. Also, I will hydrate. Hey, thank you for the 85 bitties. Oh, Kirara! Am I seeing double? Do you have two tails? I think I hit my mic with a straw. Your eyes are working just fine. Yes, I have two tails. You want to pet them? I literally just want to build Kirara because of the climbing mechanic she has. Wow, um, does it hurt when your tail splits into two? Which one did you grow first? Oh, and what do you do when they start moving around while you're asleep? True! Oh, well, uh... I'm a yokai. Oh, uh, sorry if those were tricky questions. I've just never seen anyone with two tails before. Huh, yeah, stop making fun of her. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got a friend. His name is Tails. I know all about... <laughs> this is the cringiest thing I've ever said. Anyway, go on. Yeah, that's a good assumption. <laughs> oh, don't worry, kid. I'm sure you'll be growing a couple of tails of your own in no time. I don't want more! Huh? You think I can grow two tails as well? Sure. You're a yokai too, right? Your yokai power must be really strong if you can already take on human form. She's like, a yo what? I was just climbing a tree one day when another tail popped out. Just like that. People started calling me, uh... Um, um uh... Nekomata, I think? Yokai? Nekomata? Uh, no, 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 no. You got it all wrong. My ears and tail are part of my cat's line bloodline. Also, I just want to point out, Diona clearly has bangs, and they just get in the way of her face, so she has, like, a little thing, like, a little ribbon, like, she has, like, a little head, like, scrunchy thing to keep it up. Oh, so you're not a Mondstadt yokai? Mondstadt don't have yokai! Mondstadt doesn't have anything like yokai. Yeah, I see? Is this your first time here? Look, 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 chat. Look, she would have bangs. She would look like Chibi Doki, but <laughs> she's... She, Diona really said, I don't want to be Chibi. I want to be me. <laughs> she really is just Chibi Doki, but she's... 
<laughs> Bro. She really holding up her hair so then she don't look so she doesn't have like the that's so funny. Yep. Fortunately for me, the company I work for has been expanding. So I'm now getting the opportunity to travel to cities all over Tibet. Oh, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you that I almost lost track of time. I'd better get going or I'll be late for my next customer. I got another delivery to make. Diona of the Ketzlan clan, your pickup is complete. Thank you for choosing Komania Express. Kirara is her backstory is literally a VTuber's lore. Do you guys like you guys realize that? Like really think about it. I'm a I'm secretly a yokai. I was born as a spirit to roam around the land. But then I took on human form and I deliver packages. <laughs> and now I'm in the human world being all cutesy. <laughs> like really think about that. <laughs> Free to come hang out anytime. Stop! <laughs> She's a VTuber, dude. Her backstory is VTubing. Hmm. Do only yokai have tails in Inazuma? <laughs> Could you imagine if that's the only time we see her in this entire event? That would be sad. Hey, Diana. Crystal <laughs> Dragonfly, I think for the two months. Oh, uh, you know, Genius Invocation TCG. Well, we figured it's been a while since we visited. Hey, what's up, Ogrimar? So we thought we'd come and say hi. Oh, and by the way. And by the way. Oh, she's a courier from Komania Express. They're an international delivery service operating out of Inazuma. You know, because they can do that now, because that ban they had on visions and, you know, sealing up the island. Yeah, that's not happening anymore. So now they're all about international shipping. I get all the coolest manga, like this Genius Invocation TCG manga. Huh? Is the cat still doing international business now? No, 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 no. A customer left some goods with us and arranged for Komani Express to pick them up. <laughs> that's all. Where's B? He's taking a nap. Mainly because I have to figure out how to set him up on this computer. You've been to Inazuma, right? Did you, um, see lots of yokai like her there? We saw some with wings on their back and some others with fox ears. Right! But this is actually the first time we've ever seen one with two tails. Whoa! I'd love to go see for myself one day. Well, you're not going to. Anyway, what were you two here for again? Did you need me for something? Uh, yeah, Genius Invocation TCG. Oh, yeah! Paimon almost forgot. Do you know anything about a Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Apparently, there's prizes and stuff. I like prizes and stuff. A tournament? Oh, you must mean the one being organized by the Adventurers Guild. That's a pretty big event. They even had posters imported from Inazuma. Yeah. But I'm busy with things here, so uh, I didn't sign up. I don't know all the details. Uh, maybe try asking my boss. You mean the little cat? Got it. Well, with any luck, we'll win some more, and then we'll treat you to some yummy food. Uh, we ain't treating anyone to shit. Huh. What do you mean, luck? I'm the one who taught you how to play, after all. Well, make you proud. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. You two should probably get going now. Head to the Fountain Plaza. My boss usually takes a walk around you know this time of day. It's taken me forever to fi think about it, but I was like, man, who does, who does Diona remind me of? Like, I I've been wondering, what character does she remind me of? And it might be because she's also a cat, but has anyone ever seen Bojack Horseman? So there's this character in BoJack Horseman. Her name... <laughs> Her name is Princess Carolyn. <laughs> Let's see how I can pull this up. Look at this chat. Now, the voice... It's like she's younger that. It really does remind me of a younger Princess Carolyn. Also, thank you for the subby. Appreciate it. Thank you for the gifted sub. 
Like, do you hear it, chat? Alright, we'll go there right away. I hate that I hear it. Right? Oh, chat, before we go over there, I gotta build a deck. I gotta, if I'm gonna participate in this tournament, in este torneo, we gotta build this a deck. Oh, wait. Wait, isn't that Cubby? What's she doing in the cat's tail? Okay, not what I was expecting, because the quest told me to go in the opposite direction, but whatever. Cubby! Hey, Tubby. Ah, it's you two. Hello. What are you doing here? Wait, and how did you get out of the Serena teapot? You can do that? Of course I can. Ah, but this is your first time seeing me outside. It's a different of the quest. Realms. All the quests. Although the Adepti created teapot spirits primarily to manage and they give me the decks. No, realms, our movements are not restricted to those domains. For instance, did someone say Chubby, domain expansion? Jade Seeker, who travels far and wide to gather the rarest treasures in the land. Ah. Oh. But it is true that I, in contrast, rarely leave the teapot realm at all. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Ah, I might get to know. Huh. Well, since you so rarely leave... Not to play cards, play? I'll bet. Indeed not. Although Boo. it may surprise you to learn that the reason I was sent here still has to do with the card game. You're not going to tell me about the teapot having card games, are you? Uh, um, and as it happens, it has something to do with the Traveler, too. How so? Well, as I'm sure you've discovered, with the rising popularity of Genius Invocation TCG, inviting a friend to a duel in the tavern has become a fun way to pass the time. It sure has. Question, chat. Speaking of playing TCG, question, question, question to you, chat. Press 1 if you prefer Genius Invocation TCG in Genshin, press 2 if you would prefer it be a separate thing from Genshin. What I mean is, do you prefer it that you have to go into Genshin Impact to play TCG, or would you prefer it to be a separate app? I'm seeing a lot more 1s than 2s. Huh. I am seeing a lot of 2s, but it looks like a 60-40 if I'm going to be honest. That's interesting. Really? Because personally, I would prefer it be a separate app. Personally, what I would want is they do Genius Invocation TCG, but it involves all the Hoyoverse games. That's personally what I would want. Pero. So then they don't have to make another card game into using like other Hoyoverse properties. They don't have to make each individual one for each event individual game but it'd be really cool you know what would be wild if they do introduce a card game into honkai star rail and like hey what are you playing and then well it's like oh hey there that's this thing called genius invocation tcg you heard anything about it? and it's the same fucking game with just and it's just different cards it's just different card. It's cards based off Honkai Star Rail, but it's the same fucking game with the dice, and maybe and maybe they'll change up the elements to match the elements of Honkai. But it would be really fucking funny. It would be really fucking funny if it was the exact same game, and then in real life they combine all the Hoyoverse games that have TCG in it and then make it a real card game. There's just one little problem. Many invitees currently have to travel an enormous distance to get here, turning the whole TCG thing into is the argument. same as I remember. <laughs> been sent here to create a little game room using the same Adeptus art as is used to construct TCG. All right, I'll tell you what, chat. I'll tell you what, chat. If we do make it to 175 subs, I will not only show you the sketch, I will do the genuine voice while saying Osmanthus wine. I think that's fair. Give you two things. That way, anyone with an invitation will need only to think the thought, and they will instantly appear in the game room. Interesting. You will be free to use the room whenever you wish to invite a friend to duel, and it will be far more straightforward for them to take you up on the offer. Hmm. Wow! This wow! Easier. 
get mad at you for renovating her tavern with your adept. Yeah, I'll be fine. Um, that shouldn't be a problem since the realm will not be physically located within the cat's tail. Besides, we obviously sought the owner's permission in advance. She was quite enthusiastic. Oh, Li Yue's adept eye arts sound pretty useful. Could mm -hmm. you double the size of the tavern while you're at it? Mm. Unfortunately, my mastery of adeptus arts is not sufficient. Please, to chat, please. Huh. Yeah, that does sound like something Margaret would say. Anyway, it's great that you're here. I was expecting to have to wait until your next visit to the teapot realm to fill you in. Well, I was there earlier today, but I guess you chose to wait for me to come to you. Right then. Let's get started. Oh, yes, yeah, Simp. Yeah, I voiced uh, Ketter in that. That's awesome. I hope you enjoy it. Tubby uses her Adeptus Arts to remodel the tavern. Okay, that should do it. Huh? Over to you. Now you can invite friends to duel with you in this room wherever in the world they are. I hope it serves you well. Oh, and I almost forgot. A guy from the tavern wanted me to say this to you. Shut the fuck up, loser! Hope you will have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. Who said that? Who said that? Bum bum. The Forge Realm's temper is now. Invite a character. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, the Archons! I'm missing an Archon. Where's Venti? Uh, 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 uh. There you are. Perfect to have four letters. They'll be each Arena of Champions. So this is... So Arena of Champions, this is officially ranked matches. Eh, pues Raji with the 10 gifted. Chat, we only need 74 more subs. Hydrate, I got you. Venti was skipped. No, they weren't. I literally saw them in the corner. Guest challenge. Ooh, call it. The Forge Realms Temper. When the Forge Realms Temper event is open, you can select stages to challenge. Okay. I mean, they they do seem to want to um, change it up. Like, they do seem to want players to play Genius Invocation TCG. Hey, thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. So that is good. Seed dispensary deck. Um, it's because I haven't done it on this one. Dun, dun, dun. How do I remove all these cards? There's got to be an easier way. They just need to add more cards to make the decks more unique for it to grow. I mean, yeah, I feel like what it is is that, like... Because the game's been out for what? Specifically, TCG, a few months? It's been since, what, 3.3? 3.4? Something like that? Six months? What I've heard from a lot of people is that when a card game for... And not just for this card game, mind you. But for every card game, when they first start, like, there's... Everybody comes up with the, new stra the same strategy. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like with time, uh, we will get more... We will get more opportunities for, uh, for, like, actual building decks and shit. Well, that's Pot of Greed. Of course I have to add Pot of Greed. Where's Paimon? Is this Paimon? Convert to Elemental. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Discard this card, then draw two cards. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Paimon's name is Paimon. 
And wait, what the hell did I add? Convert the elemental dice spent to omni elemental dice. Oh, then that's not what I want. I didn't even see the baiju thing. Um, do you know you can drag the card? No, but thank you. I'm also trying to read them. Two of starting elemental dice you roll are guaranteed to match the elemental type. That's actually not bad to have one. Heal the most injured. Here you're active. Triggers automatically once per round. Create one random basic elemental dice. It's not bad, actually. That's actually pretty solid. Uh, da -da -da, immediately, secret data. When your Sino who has this card equipped uses secret data. Bum. I never use these, but like, I feel like I do need one of them. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, da -da -da -da, the character's charged attack costs less. But it's four dendro die? That's so much. How many cards do I need? Let me eight. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Building a deck. Building a deck. Where is my food? The turkey is the thing I needed? No, that's HP. Yeah, you tell him. Cost one less. This is the one I wanted. What is this? Kill the target. During this round, the target takes three less damage. I'll put one of those. Heal the target. Nah, I'm good. Hey, Ghost Taffy, thank you for the month. Dun 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 dun. You should also use the Sumeru card. Do you mean the back Sumeru card or a different Sumeru card that I'm not aware of? There's new supports. I actually was not aware of that. So let's go check out the supports because I actually don't know what you're referring to. Just got paid. It's payday. Hey, let's go. Lots of new cards. Hey, let's check it out then. Hey, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck are some of these? What the fuck? Jesus. Heals two characters. When your character uses a skill or equips a talent. Uh, if you do not have more elemental dice, then cards in your hand spend one less elemental dice if you do not have more elemental dice than cards in your hand uh, that's very specific collect up to two unused elemental dice when the action phase begins reclaim the dice you collect using this card that's not bad oh dude what they had to do oh my god they actually added cards Treasure Seeker after a skill, this card will accumulate one treasure. When this card has stored three, discard this card and draw three cards. Jesus. What about Rana? Create one elemental die of the same type as your next off-field character. That's not terrible. What about Dunyar Zod? Spend one elemental dice. Holy shit. That Dunyar Zod, let's go. Zudong. Spend two less elemental dice. One per round. Shit. Oh, when playing a food event card. If you do not have... That's so specific. If you... When the attribute... If you have five different kinds of elemental die, create one Omni. That's so specific. Create one Omni if your opponent's support zone is not full. Transfer this card to your opponent's support zone. That's weird. What about this one? After you switch characters, the next switch character action performed this round. We consider a fast action instead of a combat action. It will also cost one less elemental. Interesting. Event cards. 
Oh, what the fuck? Draw one card after that. Switch any cards in your hand. You must have at least two Sumeru characters in your deck. Interesting. That's so cool that they added... Dude, they added so much shit. Mind you, I say so much shit, but to me, this is a lot. During this round, all your characters take minus two damage the next time. During this round, all your characters' next elemental skill skills deal... Okay. The target's character's normal attack deal plus one damage. Revive the target character... What? Monster Reborn? Hey, thank you for the subby. Thank you, thank you, thank you for gifting it to this, uh, Cozy. The target's next elemental burst deals 3 plus damage. During this round, the target's character's next normal attack deals 1 plus damage. It's not bad. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna have to... Oh, dude, I like skip through these. What the hell is a D-Luke? Actually, is this D-Luke? Who the hell is that? That's not D-Luke. Is that the woman from the... From the Webtoon comic? Bro, no way! When you accidentally click off. It says Vanessa on the card. Oh, it does. The Legend of Vanessa. Well, now I can't read. Sorry, guys. I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Yeah, that's who I thought, bro. Man, there was a rumor saying that the uh, create four basic elemental dice of different types. What? Okay, what is this? During this round, your current active character's next normal attack deals one plus damage. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna have to play and like buy these. Uh, it's defeated during your... You can continue to act again when the action ends. Oh my god. Create three Omni Elemental Dice Elements? What? Bro, the... The Zhang Li Dice. That's... That's another Paimon. That's another Paimon right there. To the type of the active character. Holy shit. What? What? Bro. Are you kidding me? Dude, these are some badass fucking... Those are some badass fucking cards. Dude. Holy shit. You didn't know? Dude, I have been out of the TCG game. I've been out of the TCG game, fellas. I'm still on old meta. No, oh, get out of here. Uh, da -da -da, triggers two. I could add that. It's a fast action. Wouldn't be bad to have on this deck. Give me that monster reborn. Where's my... There you are. Collect up to two unused elemental dice. It's kind of broken too? Yeah, dude. Here, I'll add the Tainari card. I'll add the Sino card for shits and giggles. Hey, Mizu! Mizuki, thank you for the raid. Where was this, uh... There is gambler's earning, but that's very specific. I have to like kill the opponent. I could add Timmy because it wouldn't be bad. Okay, I can have two more cards. I'm gonna add another Timmy. Ooh, you know what? Let me add one of these. I wanna let me take out a Timmy. Let me actually take out one of you. There we go. Okay. That's a fine deck. Bro. 
That's insane. Okay. Back in it. Okay, that's Yoimiya's Mia's quest. Okay, cool. What did you miss? Not much. We made a we made a deck. And now we're going to proceed with the Genius Invocation TCG event. Now, before I continue, I do want to let you guys know, if we get 70 more subs chat, I will show you this Genshin sketch that I have uh, done. Well, it's not done. It's literally being sketched. But uh, you'll get to see it before anyone else. And um, what else? Uh, I said that I would do Osmanthus Wine as a genuine. Anyway. Hey, what's up, Margaret? Oh, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while, hasn't it? Let me guess. Back to play some cards? Psh, you know what, baby? Uh, it's not like we only ever come back to Mondstadt to play cards. I mean, it's the only reason I come back. Are you kidding me? Also, the, um, the, uh, the commission is literally going to be specifically as a as a thing for 3.8 just adds up also thank you for the study i got random emails i just don't want to forget about them oh really i just assumed you were here to take part in the king of invocations grand prix mm-hmm king of invocations grand prix oh that must be the adventurers guild one that they have been to. yeah Mm-hmm. That's the one. Genius Invocation TCG has been attracting more and more players lately. The Adventurers Guild arranged for venues in every city to hold a Is that true, chat? for the King of Invocation. Do you guys Grand think that Prix? more and more people the are playing Genius are Invocation TCG every day? Mondstadt is already at the final stage, so I'm afraid you might be a little too late to get that prize. No. <laughs> Well, you ain't winning right. shit. There's bound to be a next time. This card game came out of nowhere and has already taken the world by storm. Who knows where it'll go next? The game's creators must be ecstatic with all this success, don't you think? It's unbelievably popular. Yeah, and it only gets more fun the more people there are to play it with. This is like the ad. Hey, Masu. Masu love pink. Thank you. Oh no. For the five gifted. Bro. This is like the, the, the play ad. Like this is the promo that you see like streamers make. It's like, wow. And only more and more people are playing it. Make sure to play now. Genius Invocation TCG. I really want to play now. I want to win that tournament. Well, you may have missed the boat on the official event, but there's also an unofficial tourney organized by some players. Would that interest hey, well, you? Oh, I'm glad, Darks. Unofficial tourney? That's right. With all the excitement surrounding the main tournament, players can, can I watch the main tournament? Enthusiasm, so they've set up an unofficial tourney aimed at a larger player base. Yeah, look at all that player base. You can sign up at any time and play however many matches you want. They even have pre-built decks for players to use. Oh, well, I have a pre-built deck. Too. Ooh, Paimon likes the sound of this. Thanks for the info, Margaret. Let's hey, Emily, thank you for the four months. You're welcome. There are plenty of booths at the venue offering food and other fun activities, so it's definitely worth a visit. Who knows? You might even bump into some old friends there. <laughs> Look, man, I'm just going to say it. If, if this was in Honkai needed, Star Rail, be I'd be playing it. Paimon <laughs> <sighs> still thinks that with your abilities, winning the grand prize in the official tournament would have been as easy as pie. Just imagine it. Honorary Knight defeats huh? and emerges as tournament champion. The headline practically writes itself. Hmm? Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Someone say headline. Hmm. Whoa. Uh, who, who are you? And why the heck are you? It's not Yemfei. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. 
I tend to keep my ears peeled at all kinds. Didn't even realize Look at that, that camera me. chat. It's got eyes. It's got a hat. It's got a little bow tie. It's so stupid. It looks like a little smile. Let me introduce myself. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. I've been posted here to cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Bro, you're at an 11 with the excitement of a 5. Calm down. The Steambird? Sounds familiar. <laughs> in Fontaine and widely acclaimed all over Tevat. We even have regular columnists based right here in Mondstadt. Yenfei, stop cosplaying, bro. Ooh, okay. Paimon's name is Paimon and this is the Traveler. What was that you were saying about some breaking news? Oh, you know. Oh, looks like I've managed to pique your interest. Well, the truth is that my keen reporting senses are telling me that this competition will be chock full of huge news stories. Hmm. Huge news stories, you say? Yeah! You sure your senses are reliable? No, they're not. Absolutely. After all, I've seen it with my nah, own eyes. Nah, that's March 7th. A criminal who's been slinking around nah, she's cool on March 7th. <gasps> oh, who said that? The card snatcher. Card snatcher? The half slinging, mm -hmm. the slash slinging, the card snatcher. I was about to try and chase him down, but the next moment he disappeared into the Oh air. my god. March 8th, Lamau, dude. But why would someone want to steal other people's cards? Maybe to gain an edge over Bro, this is the storyline. This is the Weevil storyline, chat. Perhaps he just wants to throw off the other competitors. <laughs> The truth of the matter, it's my job as a journalist to dig up all the gory details and turn them into my very own exclusive news piece. I don't think it has to be gory. So, what do you think? Want to join me in my quest to uncover the sensational story that's hiding behind the scenes? Um. That does sound interesting, but why us? Any reason you singled us out in particular? Oh, uh, you know. Are you kidding me? It's a no-brainer, considering you're the honorary knight who saved Mondstadt. The hero of Liyue who fought alongside the Adepti. A key player in the repealing of Inazuma Sakoku Decree. And the redeemer of the Sumeru Academia. Okay, okay. I what mean... Yeah, it seems like we've ended up making quite a big name for ourselves, huh? She really did her homework. Let's hear some more of our accomplishments. Yeah, what else you got? What else you got? What are you talking about? You love talking about yourself, Paimon. I promise you teaming up with me will be a great move for you. For starters, when my exclusive news article is published, you'll be credited as contributors. Uh, Not to mention that being in a news agency makes me pretty well connected. That'll come in real handy if you're ever traveling in Fontaine. Ah. And if you ever wanted to run an ad in the paper one day, no problem. I could make that happen. So I'm assuming there's going to be some underground kind of thing going on in Fontaine. There's going to be a little bit of mafioso. And we're going to need the help of Charlotte to, you know, get the word, spread the word. I could, I could see it now. Bacano type beat. You know, some jazz, some sax, you know, just playing in the background. And it's like, oh man, what are we going to do about this, boss? <laughs> what was that? Did you hear something? <laughs> They're here. Bust through the door. It's the traveler. And it's, well, well, well. We've been waiting for you, you fucking bloke. Welcome to Fontaine. And then... Fo <laughs> and we bring the fucking... <laughs> it's the stupidest shit I could come up with. That actually sounds genuinely useful. What do you think, traveler? Rattling, boys. Sino in the mafioso, Pff, bro. I really would love like uh, a Godfather type shit at some point. I I really do want them to throw us off because like we've had very like I really want Fontaine. I know that Fontaine is supposedly based off France. I really want Fontaine to be like to be like New York. Like I either want it to be like Sherlock Holmes or I want it to be like a fucking. I, I want it to be some like. You know, New Yorker type fucking Godfather mafioso type shit. It's one or the other. That's what I want. One or the other. New York. New York. It's the New York edge. <laughs> we got some time on our hands. 
And this card snatcher sounds interesting. Great. Then welcome to the news crew. Ah, the news crew? Always lends a helping That's some Disney Junior that you live up to your type shit. But even nicer to experience it for myself. Hi, it's me, and welcome to the news crew. Boo doop boo. Now then, before we start investigating our card snatcher, I have one other small task to take care of first. That Mondstadt columnist who I mentioned earlier is a longtime favorite of the Steambird. What's up, Mandala Tropical? Management thought that a cash bonus was in order. A cash bonus. So along with me. Oh, so we're gonna go meet them now. Bum 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 Bro, I can I can imagine the music. Yep, I have the address right here. We just need to make a slight detour to drop off Mora, then we'll be on our way. I thought you would have figured out who it is I'm talking about by now. I'm glad that you're quite well equipped. Oh, it's funny now. That doesn't narrow it down much. We know lots of people in Mondstadt. Never mind, just lead the way, Charlotte. Lead the way. Can't wait for the Fontaine music. I can't wait for the uh, Natlin music. Friends, I'd assume. After all, you gotta be pretty well off to live in the city, right? Uh, oh God. That still doesn't really narrow it down. We know lots of people with lots of Mora. We're gonna run into Mona, aren't wow. we? I guess being a national hero earns you friends in high places. I swear to God, if we're about to run into Mona. Isn't that where she lives? Here we are. Wait here a moment. I'll go hand over the cash. Oh, brother. Getting into some back alleys to do some cash dealings. Yeah, that's Mona's house. Huh? Oh, so it's... What's up, astrology bitch? Who is it? Can I help you? You don't like Mona? Oh, I love Mona. Oh, we're talking about rich people? Mona ain't rich people. Don't believe we Well You must be Mona Magistus, the astrologist. It's an honor to finally meet you. Alright, relax. I'm Charlotte, a reporter from the Steambird. Your columns have been so well received by our readers lately that our management asked me to present you with this cash. Oh! No. She got Mona's full name and title right on her first try. She really does do her homework. Ah, you Couldn't must be me. Be Charlotte, Homework. Welcome, welcome. Please, just call me Mona. Gosh, this is a long way to come from Fontaine. Is it? I hope it wasn't too much trouble. No trouble at all. It was on the way. On the way of what? Where are you going? Sounds like your articles are a real hit with Fangirl you. behavior, <laughs> true. Have I never told you? Well, I've been writing my column, All Things Astrological, for the Steambird for a long time now. And they the pay me two dollars. Go about the bonus. Thank goodness it's finally here. I was wondering when it would arrive. Thank you, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. Huh. You make it sound like you really needed this. Are you pressed for money, Mona? What? No, of course not. It's just that once I knew the bonus was coming, I reallocated some funds that I'd previously set aside for daily necessities and purchased some expensive equipment. That's all. Yeah, no big deal. I purchased an E6 Genuine and I have his light cone at Super Imposed 1. So, uh, really, it was a necessary uh, expense. <laughs> Classic Mona. Hmm. Uh -huh. Renowned astrologist broken starving. Do the stars really have all the answers? <laughs> the article practically writes itself. Hey, yo, chill! Actually, that does sound like an interesting read. Oh, I beg your pardon? Uh, Mona's actually super rich. It's just that astrology research is really expensive. True. Super rich is a bit of a stretch. Uh, anyway, enough about that. What brings you back to Mondstadt this time, Traveler and Paimon? Right Card now, games! We just came to catch up with a friend of ours. But some things have come up, and now we're helping Charlotte investigate Rich? the case of the card snatcher. Clearly someone didn't do the Golden Archipelago this year, or this past year. <laughs> Would have learned that Mona's actually stinking filthy rich. They make a lot of money. Speaking of which, will you be competing in the King of Invocations Grand Prix? Where it is that the prizes are pretty stellar. 
Ah. I'm much too busy with my ah. research these days to dedicate time ah. to a competition. Well Besides, done, Charlotte. Even if I did enter, there's no guarantee well I'd done. actually win a prize. Good joke. Good joke. Isn't there? I'd have thought you'd be certain to win with astrology on your side. You'd know all of your opponent's cards ahead of time. What do you take me for? No self-respecting astrologist would dream of abusing their beloved art for such crude purposes. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to the other contestants. Man, you could be Pegasus. You could be ruling the world. And here you are, it's like, what astrologist would ever use this? Bro, you slacking. Well said. Spoken like an accomplished academic and a conscientious citizen. Well, yes, obviously. Anyway, if past precedent is anything to go by, you're the ones who ought to be wary of what's around the corner. Especially if you're chasing after this card snatcher, was it? Card snatcher. Like bad news. Shall I take a glance at what you're up against? No, I'm good. Thanks for the offer, but there's no need. Relying on your astrological skills for all the juicy details would make this story a Mona exclusive. But that's not hmm. quite the kind of exclusive report I'm going for here. I gotta say, I do love her outfit. It reminds me of Pom Pom, but I do love it. I think she's Cryo? Based off this vision? But don't you worry. They call it investigative journalism for a reason. We journos have our ways. All right. Journos. Well, best of luck with your investigation. Also, we should play another game of Genius today, Invocation we'll TCG sometime. Show. I will fucking destroy you. you. Hey, what's up, Fifi? Man, using that chibi emote, we were literally talking about chibi earlier today. I will, and yes, we should. I'll hold you to that. Bet. Let me text, let me text Felicia right now. Hey, you want to play Genius Invocation TCG? <laughs> She'd be so confused. Be like, the fuck are you talking about? I think it's about time we started heading to the competition venue. The Mondstadt Regional Final should be starting shortly. I don't know if that was her voice. Or if they sped up her line. But goddamn, she sure sounded like... I think it's about time we started heading to the competition venue of the Mondstadt Regional Final. What the fuck? The finalist is Sino and Ito. That would be hilarious. That would make two of my prediction. Two. That would make my print fully predictable. Don't fall. Don't fall now. Sino and Ito. Sino and Ito. Kaya. International, my ass. They're all people from Mondstadt. Well, if it isn't the traveler in Paimon, what a rare surprise. A regional. I never Did mind. You really come all this way just to watch Timmy and me in the final? <clears throat> if you lose, you like it, Timmy. What a dummy. Kaya? You made it to the final? Wait, what about your work with the Knights of Bavonius? You better not be slacking off again. Hey, come on now. That's no way to talk to a friend. Naturally, You're not my friend. I wouldn't have considered huh? entering the competition were I not already on top of my work. You already know the sign lines for this event? Here's the crazy part. I don't. How do I know? I may have recorded them, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Therefore, I've forgotten what I've said. Ah, enjoying a drink while playing a few rounds of cards. I can't think of a better way to relax outside of work. Can you? Oh, just be sure not to tell Diona I said that. That you're getting drunk while playing cards against kids? You fucking freak. Well, since you're in the competition, have you noticed anything suspicious going on so far? You know, like people stealing other players' cards and that kind of thing. Goldfish can keep the memory for up to at least three months. Ha! Well, joke's on you. We recorded this further than three months. So, ha, lawyered. Stealing cards, you say? Well, I'm afraid I haven't seen anything of that sort. Not while I've been playing, anyway. Why do you ask? Hello, <laughs> Easy. Well, we just ran into this journalist from Fontaine, and she... Huh? Where'd Charlotte go? 
she was right here, wasn't she? She was, and now she's gone. Oh, I don't bet she snuck out to go find some tasty snacks for herself. Man, I sure could go for a snack. Journalist from Fontaine. Oh, you mean the one from the Steambird? I do recall seeing a Steambird reporter listed in the Knights of Favonius visitor log. Well. Yeah, that'll be her. She said that she saw a card snatcher at the tournament venue, so we're helping her investigate. And she just caught him a after card him. Card snatcher? Hmm. How very interesting. But one question, Paimon. Are you sure that cards are really what this snatcher is after? Hmm. 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 Huh? As a Genshin fan, do you sometimes dislike getting spoiled during recordings? I mean, yes, a little bit. But honestly, my... Literally, I'm not even kidding. My memory is so bad that I tend to forget a lot of stuff. Um... Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Your attention, please. The final is about to begin. Now, let's give a warm welcome to our two contestants. Guess we'll have to leave it there. Let's continue. Good this luck, Kaya. Give it attack. your best. Don't worry. Go get him, Kaya. We'll see you in a bit. Hey, don't lose. Hey, don't lose. Hey, don't lose. He's gonna fucking lose, dude. So, Traveler, who do you think is gonna win? Pretty sure Timmy will win. Yeah, Timmy seems to be a pretty strong TCG player. Yeah, yo, is that genius invocation the manga? By the way, whoever wins is bound to make headlines. Wait, speaking of headlines. Is that King of Invocations? Traveler? Let's go look for her. Okay, that's great. We'll go look for her in a second. Hey, is that a King of Invocation? How do I read it? How do I read it? How do I read it? Chat, how do I read it? 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 Book. To that travel guide. Breeze. X. Toki. Da -da -da. It's not here. It's in quest items. Oh, in my bag. So to the person who told me archive, you're just a fucking liar. A light novel centered around the most popular card game in Tevat, Genius Invocation TCG. The characters are unique and the story is exciting and full of twists, making it one of the hottest new works around. <gasps> Bro, you can actually read it? Wait a minute. Ere the end of a duel across a multitude of worlds upon the domes of many a sky, this supreme rite unfolded in the most unexpected way. My apologies, friend, but a grand finale, or so they say, almost always ends this way. The other duelists descended the stairs of arcane rites, removing the crocodile mask and revealing the Prussian green complexion beneath his features equally somber. Abu froze at the sight while draw- Abu! Sorry, I thought of Aladdin. Froze at the sight while drawing the cards out from the casket of tomes. Voice your grievances, vent your fury, insult me with your bitter sarcasm. So thought the one who had just taken off his mask. But the young man just went on to take out the cards before placing them gently on the table. Then he said, If all finale shall end thusly, I'll gladly have this, for I've always wanted to duel with you. Boss. Boss, will Abu win? One of the sailors asked as the stench of the dried fish permeated the ocean breeze. The unfettered figure sitting among them was none other than Duba, the lord of the seven seas, who had claimed such ownership through the right of duel. <laughs> the man raised his goblet against the chill moon blue light dancing on it. Should he lose, I will twist off his head as promised. But it's a pity that the wine from such a new vessel definitely won't taste as good. Uh, look at what he just rolled! Well, seems like Lady Luck's shining the other way. 
Honestly, why didn't he use the trick I told him? But no cheating can pass unnoticed in the room of duels. It's more practical to have a few cards for dice conversion in your deck. Said the little kid. Yeah, because that's how I read it. Said the little kid soon as she approached with a tray of dishes. This is exactly why Abu didn't want to learn the trick. And it's also why you ended up working here. A far cry from when you were the owner of the collector's parlor. Oh yes, Quee. This is the fish soup for table 17. Remember to serve it before it gets cold. Fine, got it replied the young girl as she rose from the table, but her eyes were still focused on the figures cast in the sky. Not working. I can't get it connected. The dark-haired girl hid her face within the hood, electric arcs dancing around her fingers. Yet one by one, the dice hovering around her broke and scattered, as if being warned by something. The Room of Duels is... Well, it's just like another sacred realm. Huh? Still not giving up, are we? Forget about it already. Given how even the Crocodile King failed to escape from the place, I'd be shocked if you could succeed, Nimue. I'd rather put faith in that lad. It's a long shot, though. Commented the knightly king of duels, Ariatos. Ariatos? Uh, it seemed that the knight couldn't care less about the possible death of his friend who had helped the knight restore his homeland. But how can I fe not feel a bit jealous, Abu, when your rival is the Crocodile King? It would be a good ending if the young man turned the tables miraculously. The game was already decided in the last round. Even the Lord of Combat, one who had been sealed here by the Ibis King for craving a grander war and attempting to erase the walls of the world, should be abandoned by combat itself. As in all other underdog stories, the young man Abu claimed victory. Name your wish, said the Crocodile King, trying to hide the fact that his body was beyond repair and on the verge of death. Abu tilted his head, watching as the king's body gradually crumbled into ashes. Though you live off war, not one day have you stopped quenching its flames, said the young man. He lowered his head. This would be too boring, said Abu. The world would be so boring without you. To me, you are... <laughs> you won't understand. Oh, by the way, it just occurred to me that I don't know your name yet. So wait, is there a little boy love here? Like, what's going on? Hola, te quiero mucho, vi tu bonito. Ay, gracias, la chica. La chica taco. The crocodile king saw an unfamiliar, dangerous smile forming on the young man's lips. That day, various worlds bore witness to the young man's wish. Let the wall shatter, and the war between worlds begin. I want rivers of blood to stain the earth crimson, and mountains of bones to pierce through the sky. Thus shall the Lord of Duels endure. King of Invocations number one. The grand ending. Damn, King of Invocations sounds like a good manga. Yeah, I want to read it, though. All right, I guess we should talk to Charlotte. Back to the... Back to the plot, I guess. Charlotte, what happened? You just disappeared without saying anything. Hey, girl, hey. Oh, I just didn't want to bother you while you were catching up with your friend. Good show. Hey, Charlotte, good, good show. Don't you want to interview him or something? No. Supposed to be covering the competition. Eh, I could churn out that kind of soft news piece in five minutes if I had to. Wow. Personally, I'm more interested in those two. From the moment things kicked off, they've been acting very strangely, like they're trying to stay out of sight. I'm sure they must be plotting something. I'm trying to snatch huh? this card. <gasps> you mean? Bro, they're probably just trading. Card snatchers? Shh. Keep your voice down. We don't want to scare them off. We need to wait until we've got something concrete. Then we can use my camera to catch them in the act. Chat, you're less than 63 subs. 63 subs, and I'll show you the sketch. Huh? You, wait, where'd the other guy go? Behind you. After Scream in the mic. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Often. 
Hmm. She's a stalker. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. You should see the celebrities in Fontaine. The lengths they'll go to to try and avoid the public eye. Compared to that, this is nothing. Uh. That wasn't supposed to be a compliment. Who are you, like, spying on? She's paparazzi. Yeah, I hate it. He's heading toward Mondstadt's side gate. Let's follow him, but quietly. All right, bet. Watch this. I'm a little sneaky sneak. Boom, boom, ba -da -na -na -na. Swan Fury. Search for it. Oh, hey. Yeah. Not so fast, you wrench. Oh. I missed him. Hey, little Robinette, thank you for the 17 months. Hey, Oilers in chat, 62 subs. The wind rises. Shh, don't worry, we'll catch him. Quit following me. Behold. Behold. There he goes. I spy with my little eye. That guy, right there. Oh, there. Looks like he stopped. Let's sit tight and see what happens. You got the card I'm looking for? Is he gonna hide something? And now he's crouching down with his hands above his head. Oh, wait! Treasure orders! He's in trouble! Because he's got the treasure we need. You got that genius invocation TCG card? Master Merrick is looking for it. We hear that you have the Egyptian God card. I don't need any other characters. You dare to gaze upon me? See, I told you. Thank goodness. I thought it was all over for me. Those treasure hoarders. Did you know them? It sure looked like they were here just for you. Mm -hmm. Why would I know them? Uh, I was just uh, out for a walk. Mind mm. my own business. And out for a walk, he says. Oh, really? Then why did they target you? It wouldn't be because of some dubious deal you were involved in at the tournament, would it? Mm -hmm. Would it? Huh? Deal? I, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Show me that blue eyes white dragon. You see, I'm a journalist, and I just happened to snap a picture of you and one other individual in the middle of a deal back at the tournament. Hehe, <laughs> smile. Only gonna ask you for an Look at that sweat drop, chat. Look at him sweating, sweating and dripping, dripping and sweating. The deal in question. Hmm, maybe I'm just wasting my time. Shall I just cut my losses and hand over the evidence to the Knights of Favonius? Look at that fucking no, no, fucking please. shitty smirk. I, I, I'll, I'll talk, but you gotta believe me. There's nothing shady going on, I swear. Wow, that was some serious puffing on Charlotte's part. She didn't take any pictures at all. Back at the tournament, Shut up, I, I was approached by some random guy who said that he wanted to buy a card back off me. I said, okay, how much are you offering? And when he told me the amount, well, my jaw practically hit the floor. Hmm. Really? What kind of card back was it? Uh, nothing special. I just picked it up at the general goods store. Uh, it, it had a treasure chest design on it. I only bought it because it was dirt cheap. Hmm. This guy offered me three times what I paid for it and handed me the mora right then and there. I could hardly believe my luck so i uh i decided to head somewhere less crowded and check the mora with mm. you that's when i ran into the treasure hoarders did you ask him why he wanted to purchase this item from you no i didn't genius invocation tcg has been getting pretty popular lately i mean sano did drop a million paid good mora to make their decks look flashy it didn't strike me as that unusual but after i gave him the card back he let out a sigh of relief and said something about, uh, that's all the months that ones. Huh? Next stop, Liyue. Or something like that. What? Or something like that. He either said that or he didn't. How certain are you? I'm 
positive. I I know what I heard. Once the card was in his hands, he suddenly relaxed like a huge burden had been taken off his shoulders. It was genuine relief. Could could that card back really be as valuable as he thought? I want it. Give no, me the card back. No, but in the interests of your personal safety, I suggest you report all of this to the Knights of Favonius. True. After all, you weren't doing anything against the law, were you? Uh, right, yeah, no, that makes sense. I'll go speak to the Knights of Favonius right away. It sounds like that guy's just... If I weren't a teacher, I'd drop more money on Genshin, Are dear Christ. Sure this is the person you're after, Charlotte? No, but he'll lead well, me to them. definitely doesn't add up. You really think someone out there is going from nation to nation, shelling out huge sums of money for a few card bags bought from a grocery store? Yes. My gut tells me that there's more to this story than the card back alone. That meets the eye. <laughs> the Kira Rose with the 30. News. Man, chat. You only need 32 more subs. 32 more subs and I'll show you the thing. Ooh, treasure. Maybe the card backs make a treasure. Kyra Rose. You know, collect all the pieces, put them together, and they reveal where the treasure is buried. Who knows? But wherever this leads, we're definitely on to something. It's a treasure chest adventure. His, his face, his physique, and the way he moved were identical to the card snatcher I saw last time. I'm sure it's the same guy. Hmm. <laughs> we'll he claim that prize time, by though. beating him in a I duel. I don't want to risk trying anything with so many potential witnesses around. From the sounds of it, we need to head to Leela next, right? Paimon can't wait. We have tons of friends in Leela, too. But... Shouldn't we check in with Kaya before we leave? I mean, I guess. Find out who won the final. Good idea. Let's go. Let's go. I will tell you, chat. Uh, I am getting a little sleepy. So, uh, as soon as I finish this portion, I will probably end stream. So, if you guys plan on subbing, you might want to do it now. Isn't it 7 p.m. for you? It is 9.30 for me right now. Hey, thank you, Lone Script, for gifting it to Mimi. Hereby declare the winner of the Mondstadt Regional Final. I knew it. King of Invocations Grand Prix is Timmy. Let's go, Kaya oh, sucks. That's amazing. <sighs> I was beaten by the best. Timmy's a tough opponent. A hey, strawberry. Yeah, Think for the three time. months. You just need thirty more su subs, chat. There's always night some. At least you are gracious in defeat. <laughs> it's all right. You don't need to comfort me. This must be the journalist from Fontaine you mentioned earlier. Charlotte, was it? Enchanté. Oh, my God. Cavalry Throwing in the, the French words because she's French. I trust you're enjoying your time in Mondstadt. What if she goes, mm, it's uh, incorrect. It's actually Enchanté. Cairo with 30 gifted. Everybody think Kyra Rose right now. Everybody think Kyra right now. Y'all better be thanking them. All right. Let me show you this sketch. So basically, let me see if I can, one second chat. So basically it's this, it's just like a group picture. I. I really wanted a group picture of all the Sumeru gang. 
Mind you, in the future, there may be another Sumeru character added. But I'm like, hey, let's not forget 3.0. You know, let's not forget Sumeru. I just thought it would, it'd be cute. Uh, so yeah. It's clearly not done. But it's being done. And if you notice carefully, Nahida is doing the, you know, doing the little can thing, doing her E. Uh, and the art, let me see if I can pull it up. The art is being done by Aaron Wynn. And if anyone is familiar with Aaron's work, uh, they uh, have done some work on Ruby. But yeah, so uh, stay tuned for that when it eventually comes out. Uh, but yeah, they uh, they did this poster. They did this. And they did this. But yeah, they did this art. So when I saw that, I was like, you know, it'd be really pretty. <laughs> I was like, you know, it would be really pretty. <laughs> So yeah, when the when the when the art is fully done, I'll make sure to post it. Don't you worry, chat. But yeah, there you go. And I believe I owe you one other thing. <clears throat> oh, as Mantis wine tastes the same as I remember, but where are those who share the memory? There you go. I'm sorry, did you want it deeper? <laughs> See, I keep my word. The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. Incentives go oh, delightful. Is that what Mondstadt looks like? <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice you all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? Yeah. I couldn't get it off my mind. You found the murderer. The you spoil chat? Hey, you know, it's a give and take. Hey, Roxy, thank you for the sub. Hmm, I see. I see. How can you? You have an eye patch on. So, it seems we have an answer to Kaya's question from earlier. What the card snatcher is really after is these card backs. But we still haven't figured out why he cares so much about them. Hmm. Maybe they have a secret code that lead well, to a secret map well, that lead to, to Battle City. To Harbor. I'm afraid I still have my Knights of Favonius duties to attend to. In fact, our top priority right now is strengthening Mondstadt's defenses. Treasure hoarder activity has been increasingly rampant lately. Hmm. Don't worry. We'll keep you in the loop if we find anything. In fact, if Charlotte's journalistic instinct is on point, you'll probably be reading her exclusive report in the Steambird before long. Well, well, well. Wonderful. Then I look forward to reading all about it. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, well. let's take tonight off and head to Liyue Harbor tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to write down everything that's happened today. Oh. Hey. See the two people on this poster? Are they the inventors of Genius Invocation TCG? Do do do. So young. Maybe, but very little is known about either of them. Whether they've been living hmm. under a rock this whole time or just aren't interested in fame, I don't know. But hardly anybody has ever seen them. I love the poses. The poster's probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that, I doubt it's very true to life. Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. Sounds like there are a there's a lot of hoopla. Should be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary food and drinks. <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. Ha! <laughs> Make sure to play Genius Invocation using my link. Exclamation point Genius Invocation. That's a lie, chat. There's no exclamation point Genius Invocation. 
I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them. But I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any genius invocation events that they've attended. It's as if they've designed the game and then never played it again. What a mysterious couple of game designers. Either they don't want to play the game or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. Hmm. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Doubt Maybe. it. If you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. Hmm. Oh, really? Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. One less thing to worry about. One less thing to worry about. Hopefully my luck won't run out anytime hey, soon. Our focus is still on tracking down the card snatcher. I heard Snezhnaya has an old saying. If you try chasing two rabbits at once, Snezhnaya. you'll only end up empty-handed. Why are you quoting Snezhnaya? They suck. Well, the Traveler and Paimon can always split up and chase one rabbit each. Oh, okay. Now Paimon's feeling hungry. Same. We can worry about all this later. Right now, it's time to get some grub. Time to get some grub. You can trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. If it's food you're after, I recommend taking a look at the nearby stalls. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. Hmm. Sounds great. Thanks, Kaya. Thanks, Kaya. And that's the round completed. All right. Hello? Oh, the box! Duel. The Summoner's Summit. Oh, neat. Tour of Wonders. Okay, so these are just... Event Zero Hours Invocation. Painting Invoker. Oh, okay, these are just stuff during the event. Got it. Good show. Heart of good the show. Dice? I'm sorry, I didn't even see that. Instead of Heart of the Cards, it's Heart of the Dice? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fatal Mons, that seems to be troubled by some. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I love how. In my very first session, recording for Genius, uh, when they I had mentioned, or uh, uh, Genius Invocation TCG got mentioned to me, uh, I love how it was like uh, they weren't aware of Yu Gi Oh! And then, then they were fully aware of Yu Gi Oh! I find it very funny. Story. Okay, so how many rounds are there? Complete pre pre prerequisites. Okay, so... Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do, chat. We are going to end the stream for today. Next time I play Genshin, it probably... I probably won't be able to stream tomorrow because I have a long day at work tomorrow. But on Thursday, we're going to focus on the... On Genshin story portions of this event. Okay. And uh, hopefully by then, it'll all be out, so we'll be able to tackle the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you everybody for stopping